Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dunbar Snack Bar here. Got some more Rainbow Six Vegas 2 for you. Gotta get this done in quick because I have got Medal of Honor coming out a week from tomorrow. And then you better believe I'm gonna start playing that here quite a bit. So I got a, a couple videos I could post here from just playing the beta, but honestly, it gets pretty repetitive because it's the same map over and over and over again. But, I don't know. And I want to finish this series. I mean, I just got done playing the single player campaign tonight after the live stream and everything, which I need to apologize for you guys because here's what originally happened. All right, so I've been planning 7 o'clock for my live stream for, you know, almost a week. And then my wife and I, we got invited over to have dinner with another couple. And, you know, as, as important as the live stream, stream is to me here, I, I didn't want to say no to them. Because uh, it was actually really cool that they were willing to invite us over and you know for dinner and everything You know they cooked and you know my wife made brownies and it, it was good All right, so the plan was dinner at 530 and I'm like, you know what since dinner's gonna be at 530 I really don't have to worry About anything because I'll be home before before 7 for sure All right, so um, We get done eating it's about 645 stuff like that and you know because you know, we spent some time talking, hanging out, stuff like that. It was actually really, really good. Uh, really good dinner. But anyway, so I was, uh, you know, just talking to him here, and I was like, you know what? Uh, we might have to, you know, go here. And then they're like, well, do you want to play a game first? And, you know, because they've been such awesome hosts and stuff like that, I was like, sure, it probably can't take too long. And so we were playing this board game. And it did take a while. I mean, I didn't get home until about 8.30, which which was fine and everything, except for the fact that I didn't get to live stream exactly when I wanted to. And then the other thing, too, that you know kind of wasn't helpful is they have a cat, and I'm allergic to cats. And it was just me being me, you know, once once they found out I was allergic to, to cats because my wife said something, they're like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And my eyes had started like to get itchy and stuff like that. And I knew as soon as I started scratching my eyes, my eyes would turn red. So I'm sitting here trying to resist scratching my eyes. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. But I got a huge headache from it. And because that's one of the side effects I get from my allergies to cats is I get really big headaches just being around them. So, um, you know, I come home, I do the live stream and I have a headache. So, I wasn't the best at the live stream, you guys. I apologize about that, too. I'm going to try and do better. Um, I don't know when the next live stream is going to be. I may be able to do it Saturday. Uh, I don't know. Because, I don't know. The, now that I have Saturdays and Sundays off, you know, Sundays, my wife and I are usually doing something social with another couple. I mean, there's, there's a few that, you know, we'll either host ourselves or... You know, we'll ha or we'll go over to their place, you know, for dinner just to hang out, stuff like that. So, um, you know, then Saturday is one of the few days that I actually get okay. to be able to do stuff around the house. You know, now that I'm a homeowner, I got to do things like yard work and clean the house and, you know, kind of really have my day off. So, since my wife also has Sundays and Mondays, or Saturdays and Sundays off, excuse me, and then, you know, Saturday, and, and with us having, you know, our social lives really on Sunday with other people, Saturday is really the only day we get to spend together. So, I don't want to necessarily take away my Saturday nights here from my wife. So, I don't know, I just kind of want to get that out of the way. I mean, I'll, I'll talk to her and kind of see what we've got going on. Um... Because you know, if we do, if I do a live stream, it's you know probably going to be later. By later, I mean like nine o'clock or something like that. Because I think, uh, sorry, I think uh, we're having people over. And the thing is, is when you're over at a place, it's a lot easier to manage. You know, I think. Uh, what's gonna happen here because you can be like oh I we need to go or something like that here but you know when uh, when it's at your house you can't be like oh I got stuff to do you gotta go so I'll kind of work on it here and see if I can put together some kind of 
consistent schedule because I know that you guys like live streams and stuff like that. And honestly, if I could, you know, I do a live stream every night when I'm playing a game or something like that. But because I work a pretty late schedule, I know you guys can't always be there, you know, from midnight till 6 o'clock in the morning as I, as I play. All right, so this is uh, me using some strategy right here. You can see I'm up top shooting down using uh, the advantage of, of height here to be able to, to kill him. And then I got my guys who are inside. I can command them where to go, and so we can kind of sweep through the bottom here with the, some guys that are more talented than me, kind of, and them know that they've got support from above. Hey, it's working. Why not stick with this? All right, so there's really two main parts to this here. I'm just trying to clear it out because the one dangerous thing about this is if they both go down, it's going to take me so long to go down and get to them, and then I run the risk of myself dying, and what's the fun in that? Got to go back and start over. All right, so we're going to move them ahead a little bit more. Dang it, I don't want them there. There we go. That's where I want them. So I know they're kind of sweeping through the right side, but if anybody is showing up on the left side, hey, there's somebody. They'll be able to shoot them. Sweet. And that was a dude with a shield, too, so I, I know they appreciate that. Oh, that was my own guy. Whoops. So since only one of them went down. Ugh. Come on. Go ahead and heal him. There we go. Whoops. I feel bad about that, kind of. Notice I emphasize kind of right there. But gosh, there he was, just right in the line of fire where I was expecting everybody to be. Oh, well. All right. So now I'm going to go down here and join the fight below. So I don't know if you guys notice this here, too, but every, like, level that there is, you know, there's basically six or seven different levels, I think. Choosing... She's in different camo every time. Which is kind of cool being able to mix that up, you know? It's not like really camo means too much here in this one. But, all right, we're good. We can move forward. I can't remember exactly what's ahead now. Ooh, the chase scene. That's right. Okay, I remember what's coming up next. All right. Moving around here, though. Got to be careful. Nobody. All right, so now I can go ahead and resupply myself. Even though I'm not really out anything, except for maybe just a few clips of ammo. All right, so we've got that. And now we're going to go ahead and move out. Now, if you haven't watched the last few episodes of this, um, there was a big terrorist attack where they launched off uh, you know, a, a chemical weapon inside of a gym that was loaded with people. And the guy in front of me is kind of the mastermind of all of this. Kind of know it's him because he's limping because we saw he got shot on the top of the roof. So this is uh, where the chase part comes in. I got to go ahead and I got to follow him. And I can't shoot him right now either. Kind of wish I could. But then that goes ahead and ends, ends the mission. All right. So I got my chopper above to kind of follow him here a little bit. But I got to fight my way through these guys. Got to admit, I'm not too bad at this game. Thing is, is, this is kind of more in line here on what you'd see out of, you know, a, a real, like a real military professional, you know, just an elite, elite member here. Just get guys with only a few, few shots. Because you know, you play some other games, it's like praying and spraying. In this game, especially when you're playing on realistic mode like this, you can't afford to pray and spray. It's all about the accuracy. So. I should probably reload right now, but I'm kind of more concerned at this point about what's taking place here. I'm trying to command my guys, get them to move forward here. And I'm like totally not seeing the blue reload button, which is kind of crazy. Now that I go back and I take a look at this, it's like, I should have known it was there. There we go. Finally reload now. All right. So we clear out this part. We're good to be able to advance. Now, what's kind of interesting about this next part, though, is it is all in people's backyards. Right? I shouldn't say all of it, but the next little bit is all just kind of going through some backyards in the residential area. 
just kind of shooting just cause, even though, like I said, I can't kill him. Well, I can kill him, but I gotta start all over. I don't want to do that. Alright. So, dang, I didn't get to blow up the propane tank. So, just laying down some C4. And it works. Focus I love using the C4. The it's one of those things that you can use. Use right. It's such a great weapon to have. I'm sure you don't have as much distance as you do with a grenade, but you get more of a blast radius, I think. Did I get him? Got him. Alright, so we got this one cleared here. Now, uh... Oh, there's somebody in that entryway. There we go. We got him. Not gonna be that easy. I won't make it that easy. Alright, so there he is. We need reinforcements. So we gotta go ahead and clear out this backyard. It's kind of one of those things here, you know, if this was a real chase, he would have gotten away. Because there's no way he would have hung out that long. Alright, so send the guys in. There we go, finally get him. Gotta strike a good balance, I think. You know, between sending your guys forward and attacking yourself. Especially if you're wanting the experience points. Oh, man. Alright, gotta be careful on this one. He threw something. Oh, it was a flashbang. But, just causing some ringing. Not visually impaired or anything like that. Those flashbangs, though, they're really effective. Especially in the game is what I'm talking about. I mean, of course, they're effective in real life. And shoot, they're flashbangs. Alright, this is one of those times here I'm moving them forward. They can go ahead and they can do the attacking. Dang it, see what I mean? I was out for about a good five seconds. Alright, time we move forward here. Area looks clear. I'm standing in front of the entryway so they can't get past me. So, ah, uh, there's the other one here too. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering here how often I'm going to have to post this to get it done before Medal of Honor comes out. Or maybe I won't even worry about it. You know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll keep posting this even after Medal of Honor is out. Because I'm probably not going to have a, you know, as I'm going through and playing all the sports and stuff like that, I'm probably not going to have, you know, just an amazing performance every single day out of Medal of Honor. Especially as I'm, you know, kind of learning it. All right. So now this is uh, the last yard that we have to go through. Uh, I think I might need the sniper for this one. He is, he's tucked back there. Where is he? Stay on him. If he hides. Oh, dang it. Dang it. He got behind the car. Come on, guys. You be shooting him. All right, took his ankle out. Shot like that probably would have taken his foot off. But I'd be incapacitated too if that happened. All right, reloading. Probably not a good time. Sweet. All right, so some people think it's kind of foolish to go back there and kind of push my way up, but almost like I'm paying for real estate twice. But I'm kind of uh, better at a distance. So if I can put some... Oh, I just wiped them all out, basically. Ah, that's efficiency right there. All right. So this is the final part here. We basically have to go through... It's almost like a junkyard. There's a lot of stuff back here, but... And they start to appear, of course. I think they're shooting at the helicopter. Ah, I wouldn't have seen him if he hadn't started shooting at me. It's kind of why it's nice having the the computer here as well on your side. Because if you don't see somebody, they'll pick it up, and then they'll go ahead and make the shot for you. All right. Potential ambush spot right here, especially since I've got, you know, this place right here, which overlooks a lot of it. Because if they do go ahead and ambush us, Yep, there it is. We've got a good position to be able to cover them. Trying to move around. So, 
Doesn't give me a good vantage point, apparently. Where are these guys? Get over here. All right, I'm gonna make my guys follow me again. We're almost done. We just gotta get through this here. We'll get to the bad guy. Oh man! Good thing I'm wearing the full armor. Cause the thing is, is you know I usually like to go for agility and you know speed and stuff like that, but playing on realism mode. I gotta be able to take bullets, so I I go with the full armor. Oh hey, just hanging out in the cement tube. It looks like not anymore. You know it's getting crazy when cardboard boxes start flying in your face. All right, ooh, that seemed to be a little bit more of a brain spray. All right, there he is. We're almost there. I think I had to reload right then. I think we'll be all right. I'll wait for him to pop out. Got him. All right. So here we go. We're going to confront him. See if we can learn anything about what's going on here. Try and piece together their plan. But anyway. Really. I just wanted to say thank you, you guys. Now. For going ahead and watching Rainbow Six Vegas 2 and all the other videos that you guys watch. I hope you know I really do appreciate you know, every video that uh, you know gets good marks from you guys. Everything that you guys enjoy because really, I do this for you. So I know I don't, uh, or I feel like I don't say thank you enough. So I just want to make sure I say it now. And subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. You guys know you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All that good stuff. So make sure you do that. All right, so now that I got that out of the way here, got my my closing, I guess, so to speak here. Things are about to get crazy. He's grabbing his leg, but he's also got a Desert Eagle holstered on his left leg. And he's going to go ahead. He's going to pull it out. I had to take him out, otherwise he would have killed me. And then I got to go ahead and start over again, which is not what you guys want to see. Oh, man. All right. So helicopter is landing. This mission is going to be over. So again, you guys, thank you so, so much for dropping by. You guys know that it is always. I hope you guys have a good one.